Montour Hughes from the University of UT Martin. Um, from hometown, Memphis, Brother, Tennessee. Play defensive line. Um, it's actually a pleasure, you know, all those some great players. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's just motivating me to do good this season and work hard this offseason. And look forward to, you know, making big plays and, uh, you know, uh, helping my team out win. I just think my size and, uh, I feel like I'm, you know, pretty, pretty quick for my size. Uh, I just try to be explosive in every play. Um, just give them all. It's, I mean, uh, there's a couple plays I made. I mean, I feel like I could have made more plays, so I don't really know. I can't really spot out, you know, any single plays that I made. But, I mean, I made, you know, a couple plays, and I feel like last year that, you know, I can improve a lot more. And, you know, moving on to this year, and I feel like I could take out take out more from what I didn't do last year and move on to this year. And it's just, um, I mean, I, I love sports. It's, football is my number one sport, but you know, I played basketball also uh, coming up in high school. Um, I just, you know, I basically in my younger ages, I just play sports all the time for free time and just you know hung out. That's about it. Just love to have fun and you know. Love life and just, you know, live it up to the fullest. You know, sir, uh, actually, um, the first one, uh, you know, my immediate family to, you know, come to college, you know, you know, for my family, you know, they look toward, they look to me, you know, as, you know, it's, it's kind of, you know, weird as, you know, they're older than me, but, you know, some of my family members look at me and try to, you know, motivate them in what they do in their life. And I use them as a, uh, as a backbone for what I'm doing and motivate me because I know that I'm, I'm setting it a milestone for, you know, the younger, you know, my younger cousins and nieces and nephews that they can do, you know, anything they want to if they just put their mind to it, no matter what, you know, predicament you're in now. Oh, um, right now I'm studying, I'm studying business, um, but of course I, I love, I love football and, you know, I want to take it to the next level and even after, after, you know, if I'm fortunate enough to play the next level after that, I want to be, you know, involved in football because I love the game so much. I want to be a coach, but, you know, just want to be around the game. Um, actually, uh, me and Coach Riley, uh, he, he tells me all the time that I'm, I'm similar, you know, to how he was when he was at, uh, University of, uh, Southern Cal. Um, he just tells me, he remind, I remind him of himself. And, uh, so, you know, many of the, you know, a lot of the things that, you know, used to work for him or, you know, that was, you know, pretty good for him. He tried, you know, tell me, well, try this thing or, you know, try try to do it this way or, you know. And um, I think him being, you know, the same kind of player that I was, it helps me out a lot, you know, coach the player. I can't, I can't really think of one thing right at this second, but I know every day we come in, you know, come into the building. It's, you know, it's business, you know, but, you know, we have, you know, Coach Riley, he's, you know, he's a young guy, he's, he's fun, you know, but at the same time, we know when to put, put the games away and get about business. Oh, uh, well, I play the nose guard position. Um, it's, 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 it's very demanding, you know, uh, not too many people can be a D lineman, you know, that's, you know, that's, that's rare in the world, you know, uh, so I'm blessed to have the ability to do that. And, uh, you know, just playing, playing down in the trenches, you got to be a man and uh, take on double teams, you know, just about every play. So, you know, you just got to be ready and, and wired up. And like Coach said, you, you got to have a school loose to play on the D-line. And, and I think that's the key. Um, well, and obviously, you know, you know, pretty good conference. Um, but uh, you know, our goal is to be on top. And uh, it's some pretty good teams. You know, we fell short two last year. Jacksonville State and, and Tennessee Tech and, you know, schools like that, that I think we could have finished off pretty uh, better. But, you know, teams like Eastern Kentucky, you know, that was going to be good matches. But I think that, you know, over the summer, we just keep working hard. Those, you know, we're better finish those games and close out better than we did last year. I'm saying they always talk about the uh, 2K, the, the basketball and, and the new college game. You know, they always talk about who the best, but really I'm the best. Um, you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good at, you know, the, the video games, I have to say. Um, I mean, you know, 
we, we all get together. We just, you know, we play video games. You know how that is. And we compete on, you know, and just have fun with that. Oh, yeah. Um, the campus is it's a nice campus. Uh, they actually, they, you know, they fixing it up and, you know, working on it all the time and, you know, trying to make it a better place. It's, it's a nice campus. Um, there's a couple, you know, local restaurants around that are uh, pretty good, you know. Coach try to keep me away from them because, you know, got to keep my weight down, but, you know, it's enough to get into. All right, this, uh, this is Montoya Hughes from the University of Martin, Tennessee, and uh, I'm on the top 12 defensive line watch list and uh, look forward next year for, for big plays and a lot of sacks.